The latest eruption in the Sununka crater chains of the Reykjanes Peninsula related to the uh, sourcing volcanic system in Iceland started like this, but it spread in a butterfly pattern to the south and north. The south version closed up. It is toward the previous eruption, the K1, but the north version, near Estoril Skokvel, is actually active now. And we have several vents erupting there and forming craters. And the, lo the location of it, I was able to accurately pinpoint it, actually. I'm really glad about that. Uh, just touching the plate boundary, where the top part on this image shows the plate boundary, the boundary is there, the yellow line, and the fissure is that red line. And this is the boundary between Eurasia and America, as you can see it here. And uh, the fountains of this eruption are very uh, vigorous. Some of them, when you measure the time, time, you know, you can count it 1001, 1002, and I've done that. And at different times, of course, it differs with the wind direction also it affected, but but at one of the most vigorous stages, I was able to actually count six seconds for the top part of the uh, one of these lava pieces coming down. And that six second translates to around 170 meters. I will show you the details. You can see the effect of the wind on the eruption here. It's just coming toward the rim all the time spreading over that. That part is really badly affected by the wind. So that reduces the height of the fountain. But the longest one I was able to measure was six seconds. And we just can refer to any, you know, website that shows the fall, uh, free fall uh, calculation. Just enter the six second and it gives you the height of the 176. We can say 170. Anything between 150 to 170 is the acceptable range for this eruption. This is huge, quite huge for such a quick eruption in such a setting of the oceanic reach.